Love is love. Adi yo. Hi, I'm John from Anglo Thai, and today I'm excited to show you our Anglo Thai Song Crown Kit in partnership with Restaurant Kit. So, Anglo Thai is all about my heritage. I'm half Thai, half English, and that's represented in the food that we cook at the restaurant. So, we're going to start by grilling your proteins. What you can do is start grilling your skewers first and enjoy that as a starter, or what I like to do is grill both proteins together and have both dishes at the same time. So, you're going to grill the proteins for about 15 or 20 minutes and just turn them once halfway through the cooking time. So while the meat is cooking, we're going to get on with the rest of the dish. So the next thing I'm going to do is heat some oil and fry a pinch of these noodles to create a crispy garnish. And what I'm going to do is create a sort of rustic nest shape as I gently drop it into the hot oil. It's going to fry for 15 to 30 seconds. You're going to want to flip the noodles halfway through cooking. And you're going to need something to drain your noodles on afterwards and a little bit of salt just to season them. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to heat the curry sauce for your cow soy. It's a really simple process. Add it to a saucepan, bring it to a simmer, and then let it simmer out until it's nice and piping hot. So next we're going to prepare your fresh garnish. We'll start with the red onion. You're just going to peel it and then chop it into small dice. We've got your lime and then some fresh coriander. You can just cut straight through this or you can pick the leaves off. So final step, we're just going to boil your noodles. So bring a saucepan of water right up to a rolling boil. Tease away the noodles, drop them in, and boil them for 90 seconds. So everything's finished now for your cow soy noodles. The last thing we need to do is cut the chicken and then start building the bowl. We're gonna divide the noodles into two portions. Top that with the chicken, the curry sauce, the crispy noodles, and then you can add your own toppings. And the last thing I'm going to do, I'm going to plate up the pork skewers with the tamarind and roasted chilli dipping sauce. 